Hey guys, it's Elle. I've been really sick with the flu for like two weeks and I'm writing this script the day this video is meant to go live, so if I actually get it done in time, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> Since New Year's Eve is on a Saturday, I wanted to use the opportunity to make a video where I talk about what I've been up to in 2022 and my plans going forward for 2023. Spoiler alert, I did not have a good year. <laughs> Although I met the goal I set for myself for my artist New Year's resolutions, I feel like I was completely unproductive throughout all of 2022 in every aspect of my life, not just a specific creative block. And even when I wasn't struggling with motivation to draw something, I feel like it would take me all day to even draw something really simple and it would take so much out of me that I needed weeks of not drawing anything to recover from my previous piece. To be fair, part of this could have been due to me trying to get used to new art programs I have bought this year like Easy Canvas and Procreate, but it's still something I've definitely experienced at least once that stood out a lot to me. I'm pretty sure I can trace back to what point I began feeling this way. And the worst part was that it started with the intention of making positive changes to protect my mental health. Without going into specifics on details about my personal life, I had decided to basically cut myself some slack by acknowledging how difficult things have been for me lately instead of acting like nothing bothered me, but I ended up taking it too far and using it as a crutch, which resulted in me letting the whole year pass me by as I used various situations outside my control to justify not being productive. Every day just felt the same to the point where I'm struggling to remember anything that stood out as breaking that monotony when I look back across all of 2022. And that's compared to the previous four years where every day felt the same back then, so experiencing that kind of attrition for so long on top of everything else really made me sink like a stone. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I've definitely had periods of my life that were way worse than this, but this was definitely a low point and the survival mode hit hard. It's like, you know that feeling when you sleep in really, really late and when you finally wake up and realize what time it is, you're absolutely disgusted with yourself? Yeah, that's pretty close to how I felt every day in 2022 since... Gosh, since Easter. Yikes. It's not all bad though, and after this year, I really want to put in the effort to make sure I never go through something like this again. One really good thing that's happened is that I've finally begun the process of rescuing my old files that have been stuck on my old computer ever since it stopped working back in 2020. <laughs> I've had more than a decade's worth of art, documents, and project files for my old stories on there, and I really feel like my creative life has been put on hold for these past two years once my computer died. So I'm really hoping once this is all said and done that I'll really get back my motivation to draw again. Above all else, my wish is to have a structured work-life routine so I can be as productive as possible both in my personal life and my creative life. I want to keep learning how to crochet and get to a point where I can make my own amigurumi from scratch without needing to follow a tutorial. I want to improve as an artist and storyteller and continue to develop my original characters so I can share more about them with you guys and get people interested in them and the worlds they come from. I want to keep building a stronger community throughout social media instead of focusing on one or two platforms. And above all else, I want to keep creating more artwork and more comics! I'm so glad that I was able to take this as a thing that happened off hiatus in 2022, but just signal boosting a new episode of a four coma about my life every two weeks when it goes live on tapas is the bare minimum of the kind of standard I can set for myself as an artist working on a sustainable schedule. I've continued to refine the script for my manga, I'm the Sidekick, and I hope I can finally start drawing pages for it so I can finally release a completed story already instead of just talking about it. I really want to participate in more Draw This In Your Style contests, monthly art challenges, art fight, and comic jams, and I want to fill up my YouTube channel by turning all of them into speed paints so you'll never run out of new videos to watch from me. In general, I've been cooking up some fun plans on how I'll use different online platforms, and I've already started putting those ideas into action. First of all, I'm now hosting This Is A Thing That Happened on Webtoons, Tumblr, and Coffee. 
Tapas is still the original home for this particular comic, so there's a lot of episodes on there that were drawn for specific real-world events that couldn't be ported over after the fact because they're no longer relevant. But 95% of my other comic strips are available to read on a few other platforms in case you don't use Tapas. Speaking of coffee, I'll be using it to replace both my store envy shop and my Patreon page. Currently, there are only two products available, which are my digital art zines, but I definitely want my stock to grow over time. I really prefer the more casual feeling coffee has compared to Patreon, and I know with the latter, I struggled with a lot of quantity over quality issues because I was desperately trying to get something posted on there every month, but that's not the case anymore on here. I'm also having a lot of fun brainstorming what I can offer for exclusive rewards. Lately, I've also become addicted to Toy House, and I'm on a mission to host all of my OCs on there and find the most aesthetically pleasing HTMLs for them and draw quality art for their profiles, which you'll hopefully see in future speed paint. Obviously, I have a lot of story ideas that have plenty of ensemble cast populating them, but lately I've been branching out and creating more OCs that don't belong to any kind of project I plan on writing. I, I, I think I need a Toy House intervention at this point. And that's just part of the things I hope to accomplish starting next year. I'm looking forward to this exciting new journey into becoming a happier and more productive artiste. You hear that, 2023? You better be nice to us this time. Please, don't make me look stupid after being very vulnerable in this video. So, I think that's everything I have to say. It's kind of a short video compared to my other John Tuck videos, but I think that's because I wasn't productive enough in 2022 to do an end of the year wrap up type thing. And with that, enjoy the rest of the speed paint while I go pass out. Pray for me that I'll be able to draw something Shudamata related today to celebrate Hifumi's birthday and finish my daily journal that I abandoned for two weeks when I got sick. And uh, until next time, bye!